First, you should score all the dotted lines on the sheet. I like to score before I cut the pieces out. It makes it a little bit easier. Score the orange section per the lines there. This is, will become the joint of the crab and is really critical to making it move properly. It also makes sense to cut all the holes where you'll have to thread rubber bands or string now while all the sh pieces are still in the sheets. Next, cut out all the parts. Pay attention to the letter markings next to the, the parts just so you know how they go together. Now that you have all the pieces scored and cut, you can start folding. Start with the claws first. Once you fold it according to the lines, you have to break the joint, kind of breaking breaking the orange part in. I do that by squeezing the arm together and then slowly moving the next segment of the arm up and down. Thread your string and put it through one of the holes of the small jaw and pull the string through so that it's halfway through the first hole. Next you pull the string through according to the drawing on the instructions. The way this is threaded through here keeps the string from sliding around um, through the holes of the jaw and also keeps it so the string is pulling um, on the jaw in the right way. Next we're going to do the hinge. You can use anything really that's round and smooth. You can use plastic drinking straw or a dowel. Um, have something that matches the diameter of a hole punch that you use or the holes that you've cut. Before you put the hinge in, you have to thread the string through the holes in the claw. When you're picking rubber bands, pick something that's skinny rather than fat. It'll tie better and it will be way easier to thread onto a needle. Also try to make sure you don't get anything that's too dry and brittle and that'll break quickly. Cut your rubber band in half to make a length of it and then thread it onto a needle. I use a needle that's for yarn or for doing tapestry. It has a, a big enough um, eye that you can fit a rubber band through. Tie a knot or two in the very end of one end and thread the other end through the needle. Now the first rubber band that I put in is to close the claw. And you stick it through the top. 
through the jaw at the same time, pull it through, and then pull it through and tie it, tie a knot so that it's not too tight, but enough to snap the jaw shut when you pull it out. Next, we'll add the rubber band that tensions the rest of the arm. <clears throat> Tie a knot on the end of the rubber band, thread the needle, and 